In this video we're going to continue with the connecting rod and we're going to make the uh, big end bearing which is a split bearing. I've already started to machine some blocks. So this would be the split line. So these have been machined to the correct width but need to be machined to the correct height but before that they need to be held together machined as a pair so it's likely there's a, a right way and a wrong way to hold these together but I'm not going to use either of those I'm going to do it my way my way is to drill a hole in the centre a lock tighter pin in there to hold it together. So that's the bearing blocks uh, milled up. So that's ready to put a hole in. But before we do that I think we should make the strap and put it all together and drill these uh, two bolt holes. Okay, that's the strap done. It's a nice fit in the bearing. The connecting rod goes in like that. So I've got to bear in mind that it's actually very important that this aligns correctly with the uh, center line of the piston rod we can't afford it to be twisted or, or out of alignment, it has to be in perfect alignment so we need to take that into account in our setup so we'll go to the mill and set that up for drilling ok so we're at the tackle mill and I've got the connecting rod held in the vise it's set parallel to the bottom face of the vise. So I've got the bearing block fitted into the strap. And because this uh, strap is a good fit, it's just slightly smaller than the width of the uh, connecting rod. It's a good fit in there. It gives the alignment. So there's basically virtually no play, no sideways play there. Push it in tight and that's it in position. So to keep that in position I'm just using the adjustable parallels dropping them in there push them down hard so that should be pretty firm now just give that a slight tap yeah it's nice and tight Okay, so I'm positioned in the centre of the uh, strap and we're all ready to, in the right position to drill the first hole. So I'm just spot drilling at the moment.
So there's a bit of a problem with the bottom part of the strap under here actually springing as I'm trying to drill through which I thought might happen. So I've just taken a cheap parallel and put a tape around the edge and I'm just going to pop that in the other side there That's it. So it should be okay. Okay, I'm just going to sink an A3 mm down there, which is 3.2 millimeters. Okay, that's them done now. I've stamped them one, 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 two, two, two to make sure they always go back together the same way. So we can now go ahead and uh, bore these uh, bearing blocks out. To do that I've uh, just made up a little fixture to put in the lathe and I've uh, cut a recess in there and the bearing block fits in nice and tight. Just give it a tap down and I've made up some clamps. I've got these marked one, two, three and four. So we just need to dial it in, make sure it's in the right place. So that's within point or three millimeters, which is a thou, so that's okay. That's within point or two, so that's okay. I will check the face as well. Switch that over. Just make sure everything's square. Within point or two, I think we're happy with that. So 
so it's looking okay so if you remember we've got a pin in here and at each end of the pin there'll be a slight cavity um, so we'll see how it goes just need to be careful take it easy starting off with a 6.2 millimeter drill I think it is so this is a bronze so the uh, cutting edges of the drill have been flattened off with a uh, stone just to give them a negative rake or a zero rake that will prevent the uh, material pulling the drill in Okay, so this is a, a 9.5 or 9.6, something like that. Okay, so that drill has taken out all of the pin and we've got a clean diameter. So that went better than I expected. So I've made a little plug gauge to gauge this hole. I should have a little way to go yet. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Perfect. Got a bit of a pop there. Yep. I'm going to put a little spiral oil groove in here in both directions. Um, I've got the lathe set at uh, a thread cutting speed of 40 pi. Um, don't know if it'll do any good, but I don't think it'll do any harm. So let's go. I think I've got about a 0.1, uh, 0.08 depth of cut. So. Okay, reverse the direction of the lead screw. Bring it out. I think that looks okay.
I think it's deep enough. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. So all being well, we should have two matching half bronze bearings. Maybe the old groove could have been a little bit deeper, but never mind, it's what it is. So they've been stamped to keep them in the correct uh, pairs and in the correct orientation. Just need to take some rags off the corners of the hole. Okay, that's all the parts done now for these connecting rods. I did cheat a little bit and went ahead and did this hole on the CNC. But I did have to fail the corner square, so I did do a little bit of handwork there. But everything's turned out very nice. It's been a really enjoyable job doing these parts because they need quite a bit of precision. So I just need to put the final assembly together. So. We've got these are stamped one and one, so they go together. And the um, bronze bearings are stamped one and one, which go together. So the one goes to the one on that side. So I'll just put that up, that's the wrong way around. This has got a radius in to clear this radius here. So one, 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 Okay, these are fitted bolts, which means they fit more or less like doll pins. So on the full size engine these would actually be wedges that hold all this together. All I've done here is follow the LBSC drawings and put in these fitted bolts. But the heads of the bolts are made rectangular so at least on one side they resemble uh, wedges. 